Hey guys, I'm Jenna, also known as Ayla13. Whether it is to a friend's house or to your local gaming club, at some point you're going to want to transport your miniatures somewhere. Now there are a lot of companies out there that offer great transportation options, but they are often very expensive, especially for someone new to the hobby. So today I thought I'd show you how to make your own easy and cheap transportation figure case. Now to start with, you're going to need some sort of container. You could use a Tupperware container, a shoe box, a suitcase. I'm going to use the box that my new Retribution of Syrah Battle Group came in because I imagine a lot of new players are going to have something similar. Also, it's cheap and it's recycled. The next thing you're going to need is some eggshell foam. Now I got mine from Clark Rubber. I'm sure that in your country you're going to have some similar sort of shop. Uh, the benefit is these companies often offer a cutting service as well. So you can pay for that. Maybe they'll do it for free depending on how much you're buying. And uh, if you don't get a cutting service, you could cut it with a hot uh, foam cutter or you could also cut it with an X-Acto blade. I think that would work too. Now the trick is, once you've cut the first piece, you need to ensure that the second piece lines up correctly because you want to have the hills and the valleys slotting into one another to keep your miniature secure. So what I would recommend you do is cut the first piece, put it on top of the second, and then cut around it. It's probably better for it to be a little bit too big than too small because the foam will squish up to fit in your container and you don't want it to be rattling around loose. Now what I've done is put a marker on one side of the, the foam so I can make sure that I'm lining it up correctly each and every time. Here you can see it all fits together quite snug. Like so. And my lid fits together quite securely as well, so I don't feel like I need to do anything more to that. Now this set me back a grand total of $9 Australian, which is about a little bit less than six US dollars. So not a huge price to pay to ensure that your models don't chip a brick. Now that's it for the DIY stuff, but stick around if you are interested in my opinion regarding a more permanent transport solution. Now, before I get into this, I probably should mention that I'm not getting paid to say any of these things. It's just my opinion based on my personal experiences. Now, I have experience with Games Workshop cases, Crystal case, Battle Foam, and KR Multi case. Now, in my opinion, the best so far is the KR Multi case for a number of reasons. The first one of which is that it's comparatively cheap. A standard case will set you back less than 50 US dollars. The second reason is that the foam is strong enough to protect your models, but not so strong that it scrapes the paint off your models, which is a problem I've had with some cases in the past. Now, at first I was turned off by the cardboard, but this is the case I have had the longest, so it's almost a decade old now, and you can see that apart from a tiny little bit of scuffing, it's uh, completely intact. It has protected my models completely. Now you can put it in another case if you are concerned. They have cloth options available and metal cases. So if you want a hard protective covering, you could splurge out for one of those as well. The third reason I like them is because of the sheer flexibility of options. You can custom fill your tray to particular sizes and depths and miniature shapes. There are some cases designed for particular armies like Warhammer 40K, where you'll have laser cut options for particular vehicles, or you can choose from a variety of different sizes and colors and different depths. So this is a pluck tray, so you can see you can just design whatever size you need. And these also come in different thicknesses, so you can just decide how, you, how, how much you need. You can fill a whole bunch of different cases, or you can order the trays separately. So you could actually store your miniatures in the trays and then swap them out as needed. So you can also get carry bags. And they come with all sorts of different pockets. So pockets here, pockets on the front, pockets on the side and comes with a handle and a strap. Now this one fits two of the standard size cases. They get bigger and smaller as you see fit. So sheer flexibility, protecting models and cheap. I'm really, really liking these guys so far. So they are located in both the US and the UK. And if you buy the equivalent of about two cases, then the shipping is free. Anyway, enough rambling. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'll see ya.